Robert Kingsford. I coach the East High rugby team. Uh, growing up with the football players, I knew that kids played football and I knew that they played rugby. And uh, that was my initial exposure to the game. I'd never played it before, but it looked like it was something fun. A lot of the guys that I looked up to played. And so I thought, well, let's give it a shot. Let's see what, what, you know, what it's all about. I uh, really had a great experience playing rugby at Highland. Um, it was just a good opportunity. I made a lot of great friends. I got to meet people from other schools. Uh, and I still have relationships with those guys today. Uh, but it was, you know, that, that was kind of the introduction to rugby in my, in my own life. You know, it was a good, it, there was a, just a good mixture of kids. Um, I think that really added to the experience. Um, you know, we were taught things to, you know, be honest, to work hard, to give it our best effort. You know, uh, I think things that are important, not only in athletics, but in life in general. And so I think to try and apply some of those same lessons to the guys that we're working with now, that, you know, you gotta work for it. It's not just going to come easy. You got to kind of pay that price. You got to, you know, put forward a good effort. Uh, you got to play smart. You got to, you know, there's just so much that goes into the game, and and, and I think that, you know, we're trying to put across to these guys that, you know, you got to work hard and, and really and really make it count. I live in the East High Boundary. East, as far as I've been involved with rugby in Utah, has never had a team. There's maybe been a combination with East and West kids, but it's lasted maybe half a season. Uh, so I thought, you know, let's give East High a real run. Let's see if we can put something together. Uh, and that's, you know, that's where it all kind of came about. And now we're, here we are, almost with our first season under our belt. Tohi Makon, Jesse Afuvai. Tohi Fina. My name is Laura Kafusi. PJ Nusa. Michael Key. Sassi So. Alakai Solvi. Joe Tuguafu, Tennessee, Swiss It was a very interesting process because we thought, okay, well, let's start a team. Now, how do we do it? You know, so I came in here and I talked to different administrators. Uh, I knew that the person that we really needed to get the blessing on the situation was the football coach. You know, these are athletes that he's using. Uh, they're guys that you know are committing a lot of time to you know his program. And, want to, our intent was to add to the football program, keep the kids engaged, keep them active in a sport, you know, keep them, uh, you know, moving, moving forward. Uh, in terms of expectations, I'll be real honest, I didn't have any. I knew that it was going to be a new situation. I knew that we were probably going to have kids that had never played rugby ever in their life. Maybe knew about the game, but had never played. I knew that we might have a couple of kids that had played before. So I knew we were going to have some kind of a dynamic where, you know, not everyone's going to be on the same page, but that was something we could work around. I mean, that's something that, you know, kids are always going to learn and grow and, you know, gain experience. And, you know, we just wanted to be the vehicle for that, help them, help them to learn the game and get a better understanding. So as far as expectations, didn't really have any. Where we are now, um, I, I'll, I'll say I'm pretty pleased with, you know, the results we've gained. Um, when you're taking a brand new sport on, you know, along the way we've made some mistakes, but they're mistakes that maybe could be expected because we lack the experience. Two, three years from now, I don't think we're going to make the same mistakes we made this year just because guys will have been in the program. They'll be used to what we're trying to do. They'll know what our game plan is. They'll know what we're trying to accomplish. And with that and just kind of the continued growth, you know, we should have some pretty good opportunities to be a successful program. Uh, just being around the coaches, or the coaches for helping us and not giving up on us. That teams progress overall throughout the season and now we just got to win the state. Uh, well, when we came with the coach and he was just like, explaining all the things, uh, uh, me and all the boys talked about it and we just were working hard and the season just started well. So. I expect the season to go well. Um, I think for some of the boys that never played rugby before, they experience, um, they get a game more knowledge on the sport of rugby instead of just picking up the ball and running it. I learned uh, how it's a tough and physical game. So it goes on continuously. And you know, it's hard.
hardly any time for breaks unless you're injured or something. But yeah, it was something different, but it was fun, fun experience. How to become a team? Uh, what it is to really be a team and to come together? Some of the positive I've taken was uh, to uh, be more a part of the team, like team effort, instead of just being that one uh, one man player. There's definitely a lot of disciplining on defense. You gotta fan out on defense. You gotta make sure your team is online. A lot of discipline. Tell me a, a lot of things like to breathe better. Think before you react. Running the ball, hitting. Well, this far in the season, now that we're in playoffs, yes, we have. We've reached our expectations, but now it's just like any other program. For the first year, start from the bottom and keep climbing to the top. I, uh, having played and having been a part of football teams and other group organizations, some of the best friends that I have have come from rugby. And I think that's for a couple of reasons. Rugby is not, uh, it's not soccer. You know, there's, a, there's just this element of physicality, right? But then there's also an element of where everyone needs to know everyone else's responsibility and role. Everyone is working together for the same goal, which is the same with most team sports. But there's just this element or there's, there's something that exists with rugby to where you have to pay almost an ultimate price. You don't have pads. You don't have to, you know, you don't have other equipment. It's you versus the other guy. And it's it's the guys alongside of you trying to beat the guys across from you. And there's that unity and camaraderie and there's just something that comes automatically when you got to go tackle someone. You know, no pads, no nothing. And you, it, it's just you got to do it, and then guys are supporting one another. You're just you're working together. I've told a lot of people that I feel it's the ultimate team sport. I mean, it's 15 on 15. There's no other sport with 15 players on the field, but everyone's got to know what's going on. Everybody's got to work together, whether it's a scrum, a backline, a lineup, you name it. If it's a counterattack, it, everybody's got to be on the same page. And I just think that there's something that's special from that that has made me have these long-standing relationships with the guys that I've played with, where in other organizations I've been involved with, I still keep in touch, you know, there's still some memories there, but I don't look back onto it with the same fondness and really the same love as, as I do with the rugby guys, those things. But I think, you know, I, I think it's the friendships that I want these guys to leave with that hey, we shared this camaraderie on the field, let's do it in life. But I also think, you know, my expectation of these guys is that they are good people at the end of the day. That they work hard, that they do the right things, and that they, you know, really apply themselves in whatever it is they choose to do. So that's uh, you know, that's what we're trying to trying to accomplish with these guys.